everybody. I hope you're all doing well, as am I. And today we're talking about pedal tones and ostinatos and uh, basically what they are and how you can use them in your music and how you commonly will find them. A uh, pedal tone typically is just a drone note, usually a bass note. Where I, ostinato usually is more of a rhythmic figure. Etc. Etc. But basically stays on the same note. And for our purposes, like I say, we're going to be in the key of C, C major, which has no sharps or flats. And so the major scale for C is C D E F G A D C. Let me turn up a little bit here. And when I play this major scale over the C pedal tone, you're going to find that every note fits perfectly. And so dealing with the major scale over a pedal tone works great. It fits perfectly. I'm also going to take these chord tones out of C. Now if you make up a C triad, getting back to our theory again, you have the root being a C, the major third is an E, and then the fifth being the G. And those fit great, but I want you to consider that these are going to be our landing notes, or our home base, or, or in the case of uh, the actual note C, that being the root and the tonic note. And when you have a constant figure such as I've got going in the background here, just kind of in a drone, all in the key of C, you can play anything over it. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to play a C, a D sharp, for instance, which is basically a sharp second. Our minor, uh, minor third, however you want to call it. Up to a sharp four. And those are working with a lot of tension, but they all want to resolve back to either a chord tone or especially that C. Right there to the C. Sharp two to a chord tone. See how it kind of releases and goes back and <laughs> we feel all comfortable again, right? We're not playing those wacky out of the key notes. But they all work, right? And the same way even with chords. It's all just being held together because of that underlying pedal tone or ostinato that we've got going on. And so consider this when you're doing something like this, especially you're going to hear a lot of bass lines in rock. And you can add a little embellishment. And it doesn't have to be the bass, it could be your guitars, for instance, okay? Your guitars could be doing the pedal tone, and your bass could be soloing, whatever you want. Or it could even be a higher note. That being more of an ostinato figure, a rhythmic figure, all using the same note C. So, use this as, as, as a something that you can create, something that's a little bit outside the box, so to feel. Ooh, that feels good back to the chord tone. So hopefully you understand what we've got happening here with the pedal tones or a droning note or an ostinato figure and basically how you can do anything you want over the top of it. 
And that's our takeaway for today. Hope you learned something. We'll talk to you later.